Hi, Jordan here from Roadmonk. If you're getting ready to build a flexible, agile roadmap, but aren't sure how to visualize it, this video is for you. We'll be taking a look at swim lanes, one of Roadmonk's two types of visualizations. Swim lanes are the right choice when you need a more agile, theme-based roadmap, allowing you to plot items on a dynamic grid and pivot data in multiple ways. Before we get started, keep in mind that a roadmap can have multiple views and therefore multiple swim lanes. As something is changed in one view, it will be updated in all other views of the roadmap. To create a swim lane visualization, select the view you want to visualize, then click the plus view button and select swim lane. Like timelines, swim lanes have three main sections, the column header at the top, the row header on the side, and the items on the swim lane. The column header serves as the swim lane's horizontal header. Unlike timelines, which have time as a fixed header, swim lanes allow you to customize the horizontal header by selecting the field you want to use for the column header. By default, swim lanes plot items according to their month date, but you can always change the header to weeks, quarters, halves, or years by clicking on the format icon. Here in the layout tab, you can click the column header dropdown and then select your new time period. To select a non-time-based horizontal header for the swim lane, select the field you want to use for the column header. For this example, let's go with status. Next, the row header serves as the swim lane's vertical header. Unlike timeline, swim lanes have a single vertical header. Just like we saw with the column header, you can select any field in the roadmap for the row header. To add or change the row header, click the row header dropdown in the layout tab, and then select whichever field you want to use. For this example, we'll go with an existing field of team. Now that our headers are set up, you can drag and drop them in any order you want. Once you've added column and row headers to your swim lane, you can format the layout and colors of the headers and items. You have two options when setting a swim lane's colors. Color by base color, which changes the overall color theme of your roadmap. Or color by field, which allows you to create a color-based header in addition to the column and row headers. If you ever need more space to display your field names, you can always change the orientation of your swim lane's row headers. Head to the row header orientation label and select either vertical or horizontal. So now that you have an overview of how to set up the swim lane visualization, you'll be ready to try it out on your next roadmap. 